Once upon a time, a little red riding hood went out to visit her garden. A land long forgotten by her parents. But not by the wildlife. Lurking in the bushes, a wolf is spying on our young heroine. Why, what hairy legs you have! And what big eyes you have! And what scary... Oh! Oh, oh stop it! Oh, so, no, that tickles! <laughs> Don't worry, it's not a wolf, it's a wolf spider. She's wolf by name, but hardly by nature. Wolf spiders are one of our commonest spiders, and the only life forms that need fear them are delicious garden bugs. It's late spring, and our female wolf spider is busy pottering around the garden. Wherever she goes, she leaves a trail of silk so she can find her way home. <laughs> now, where's my map gone? But at this time of year, she soaks her silk in pheromones, and it looks like someone likes her scent. Oh, yes. I knew that Senorita was the one for me as soon as I spied her through the leaves. And just the smell of her makes me want to shake my maracas. Ah, ooh. Oh, look, I recognise him from his website. It's Wolfie and his magnificent palps. I'd better play hard to net. I only have eyes for you, Senorita. Well, all of them? Our female is mesmerised by Wolfie and his dance of the furry maracas. Oh, oh, Wolfie. Ah, A tap of her legs shows that Wolfie's flirting has finally paid off and he injects the female with sperm. Ah, it's, it's nice weather for this time of the year, yeah? No? Oh, I love you, Wolfie. Eh? Oh, look, another female. Hasta la vista, baby. And that's the last she'll see of him. Abandoned and alone, our expectant single mum finds a safe place to lay her eggs. Then she spins a nest of fluffy silk on the ground, making a wonderfully soft landing for them. <laughs> I tell you what, he may have spun me a line, but I could get used to that Spanish rhythm of his. Left alone, these eggs would make a tasty meal for other garden dwellers, so she wraps them in silk, making a sack to take wherever she goes keeping them protected from predators, like these, and these, <gasps> and these. Oh, what nasty creatures. Come on, kids, we're off. Did you see that one? There only have one pair of eyes. As summer progresses, Little Red Riding Hood finds other things to occupy her time, while Dad is still contemplating the gardening. Our female spider, meanwhile, is relying on the summer sun to incubate her eggs. But even when the day finally arrives and all the spiderlings have emerged from the safety of their cocoons, Mum's work is still far from over. Come on, kids, up you get. The spiderlings jump on her back and stay with her till they're strong enough to survive on their own. They all strap in and hitch a ride. A few days later, Mum ditches the sack and bids her young goodbye. So long, Wolfie Junior. Take care. So long, Mamma Mia. Ciao! With their feet on the ground, the spiderlings head for pastures new. To increase their chances of survival and avoid competing for the same food, the spiderlings make silk parachutes and take to the skies, letting the wind decide their fate. Bye-bye, my little ones. I'll miss you. Mind you, nice to have a bit of time on my own. I think I'll kick back and put my feet up. All eight of them. 
And so Little Red Riding Hood continues her journey, unharmed by the predators in the undergrowth. And Dad, well, he can carry on doing his bit for nature by leaving it well alone. <laughs>